The MaxZero needle-free connector and MaxZero extension sets are part of a trusted line of IV therapy products designed to optimize infusion delivery by reducing the risk of contamination and providing an anti-reflux needle-free vascular access system. While a needle-free connector is a relatively small medical device, the implications of these devices extend far beyond the device itself. It is clearly understood that connector design plays a significant role in three key areas as they relate to extended catheter dwell time. The access surface of the connector and its ability to be fully disinfected and maintain a tight seal over multiple days. The needle-free connector's influence on how well the catheter itself is flushed and the connector's ability to prevent reflux into the catheter tip upon disconnection. This short video highlights the features of Max Zero that help with each of these key areas, and you will learn specific instruction on how to use the device correctly to take advantage of all of its features. As with all components of an IV system, it is important to begin by properly priming the device. In addition to removing air, effective priming also lubricates the internal surfaces and aids in complete flushing. To begin, remove the device from the package and connect a pre-filled saline syringe. Invert the syringe so air can escape upward. If necessary, lightly tap the connector to dislodge air bubbles. Leave the vented end cap in place. It allows fluid to flow while protecting the male lure. For multi-fuse extension sets, remember to prime all leads of the set and invert to let air escape upward. Before attaching to the catheter, remove the vented cap. Extension sets feature a two-piece spin collar. Pull back the collar, insert the male lure, and give it one quarter turn, then tighten the spin collar. Do not over-tighten. Remember to disinfect the needle-free connector before every access per your hospital's protocol. Using friction, scrub the top and threads of the connector with alcohol or other approved antiseptic solution. Let the device dry to complete the disinfection process. Complete drying also allows for an easier disconnection after an infusion is complete. Each needle-free connector on the market has a unique access surface. Some connectors have holes, slits, gaps, or irregular surfaces that may contribute to incomplete disinfection or loss of connector integrity over time. The Max Zero features a unique, completely solid and sealed access surface that is never pierced by an internal pin and does not have a gap between the silicon and the outer housing. Lab testing has shown that the Max Zero needle-free connector can be disinfected in 3 seconds and maintain a microbial barrier over 8 days and 200 accesses. With proper disinfection technique, you can be confident that you are making a trusted connection. Always trace your line prior to connecting to a device to avoid a misconnection. The Max Zero is MRI compatible, power injectable up to 325 PSI at 10 milliliters per second, and compatible with harsh infusates including chemo and lipids. Unclamp the catheter or extension set prior to accessing the connector. If the mating lure is a two-piece spin collar, pull back the collar. Insert the lure with a straight-in motion and rotate it one-quarter turn clockwise before tightening the spin collar. To detach, disconnect the syringe or tubing slowly and with control. Hold the connector, not the catheter, when disconnecting. Because the access surface is solid and completely sealed, a small bead of fluid will likely remain after the lure is removed. If necessary, simply be prepared to wipe away any remaining fluid. The clamping sequence when disconnecting from the connector is determined by a needle-free connector's displacement type. A positive displacement or neutral clamping sequence needle-free connector proactively clears the catheter tip via anti-reflux technology. It does not reflux blood into the catheter regardless of clamping sequence. On the other hand, a negative displacement needle-free connector will reflux blood back into the catheter if a specific clamping sequence is not precisely followed. In order to take advantage of the anti-reflux feature of Max Zero, clamping should occur after the tubing is disconnected from the connector. Adequate flushing of the needle-free connector and catheter is important for catheter patency and dwell time. 
According to INS standards of practice, after a blood draw, you should flush with 10 milliliters of saline and lock with an additional 10 milliliters of fluid. Check INS guidelines. Always flush the catheter immediately after infusion or aspiration using a push-pause technique until it is clear. For viscous fluids such as blood, or when attempting to flush with low priming volumes, it may be helpful to do a flush, disengage, re-engage, flush sequence. This sequence simulates the recommended use of two syringes when full flush volumes are not indicated for the patient. Please consider the following reminders as you incorporate the Max Zero into your IV bundle. 1. Prime upward for complete air removal. 2. Scrub with friction for 3 seconds or per hospital protocol and let the connector dry before every access. 3. Leave clamp open when accessing and disconnecting. Only clamp for safety. 4. Use a push-pause method when flushing. Remember, the Max Zero has been tested for an 8-day changeout policy, but follow your own hospital's protocol.